<laughs> Today is International Sloth Day, and we're raising awareness about the conservation issues around these adorable, slow-moving creatures. And we have two baby sloths in our studio today with animal educators from Incredible Bats and Animal Quest, Sharon Peterson and Jessica Reedy. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Hi. You. Thanks, Thanks so much yourself. for being here. I think it says a lot when everyone in the studio wants to get a picture with the sloths <laughs> that you brought today. What can you tell us about these amazing creatures? Well, I'll start off. So basically, this is um, Rico and this mm -hmm. is Stella, and both of them are about one years old. He just turned one; she'll be turning one. He's a male, of course. She's a female. So there's some big differences you can see between them, uh, given that they're different gender. And uh, she's got a little more gray on her, and he's got more golden fur. But they, they'll get bigger and much bigger than they are right now. Actually, twice the size they are now, and their fur will get about six inch long too, as well. But um, and the reason why we can have them, because I know it's a curious pe yes, people. Yeah, that's right. So. These are omnivores. So mm -hmm. when people look at all those images of sloths, they see these three-toed sloth images. They are foliivores. They only mm -hmm. eat foliage. These guys are omnivores, and because of that, um, the vet that we got our, our uh, sloths from, who has studied them for 30 years, he's developed a diet that's very easy to replicate in, in captivity. And so Brookfield Zoo bought one at the same time when we got one from the same same vet. And uh, so and he does a great job with his animals, by the way. But uh, so yeah, so we have these animals now, and we're using them to to, as animal ambassadors in our programming that we do, both do. Yeah, and uh, Jessica and Sharon, you're both colleagues yes. uh, at separate you know, animal education organizations. Yes. Um, but Jessica, tell us uh, in terms of these two sloths, have they met before? <laughs> they met <laughs> once, and they were, it was, a, it was back in April, I think, yes. so they were only maybe four to five months old, and they were tiny, like, Oh Maybe goodness. like a pound oh. or two. Yeah. yeah. So are, are they generally social animals or no. no. They're they live solitary. The only time they get together is during breeding season. Okay. So yeah, so they they're never gonna like hang out together, <laughs> but they're doing really well. They're you know, they really don't care. And is this one of the babies? Just they're about a year right now, right? Yes. And then we've got some baby video we're looking at right now. Why are they so slow, you guys? <laughs> that, that's, are they getting a bad Rico. rap or are they really slow? They, they are slow. <laughs> I find ours a little bit more faster than yeah. the wild ones because okay. they have a better mm -hmm. diet. Oh. Yeah, our diet is much better for them than tree leaves and whatever they can forage. Yeah. And Jessica, they're not only just slow in life and their movements, but their metabolism is very slow. Yes. So it actually takes about, for like the wild ones, um, it takes them up to 30 days to digest this one leaf. One so, leaf? Yeah. Wow. So think about humans, it's like one to three days to digest our food, depending on what it is. Um, but for sloth, yeah, it takes, so their stomach is usually full. They have Aww. a stomach similar to a cow, so they've got the four parts, mm -hmm. um, but they're even slower. So I think that's like 10 times slower than a cow's mm -hmm. digestion. But so they only go to the bathroom. These two are probably, I think, similar, like once a week. Once a week. Wow. Yeah, once a week. Um, when she was tinier, it was every once every two weeks. Uh -huh. What's that um, diet, you say? <laughs> Just one leaf a week. But they, so their stomach, um, uh -huh. it's, it, accumulates up to about 30% of their body mass. So every time they poop, they drop, like right now she's dropping about two pounds every time she goes. So oh, wow. yeah, so it, it makes a big difference when she's like, when you're carrying them around on your arm all day and then after they go, it's like, oh, so much lighter because she's about yeah. eight pounds now. And you mentioned there's different types. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the types is critically endangered, correct? Right. So there are four species of the three-toed sloth, and these are the two-toed sloth. So okay. there's two species of them. The three-toed sloth, the um, it's the main um, three-toed sloth that is uh, vulnerable right now. Mm -hmm. So he's not critically but vulnerable. That's habitat destruction and also um, actually they hunt them too. Mm -hmm. um, and then the um, it's the pygmy three-toed sloth. It's the smallest sloth species. That one has what they call population bottleneck has caused it to become critically endangered. And a population bottleneck is basically when an event occurs that causes a very distinct drop in the population. So it could be environmental, it could be hunting, mm -hmm. it yeah. could be poaching, it could be one of those reasons Aww. or habitat destruction. But it's that happened to that that particular um, sloth, and they only live in the um, Americas in our rainforest area. So Costa Rica mm -hmm. and that in Central America, and then South America in the rainforest. That's all only place you're going to find them. Now, are these animals? Do they just love hugging, or like, um, is it? 
because we're, they have a natural instinct to <laughs> hang on to a tree limb or you got it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're Love tree it. branches. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we tree are tree branches. Branch. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. That's amazing. Do you want to yeah. try? Yes. You want to hold? I'm going to reach out. How should I? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to try. Sure. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm afraid nervous. I'll never okay, let here, hold go. Your arm out. That's the problem. I just don't want him to be unhappy. So here, okay. This way. Now hold on. Oh, this way. Okay. I'm here. There he goes. Doesn't want to let go. Hi. She made Go. you your hair. So oh, she likes to chew oh. hair. Wow, you're amazing. Oh, they're so soft. Oh, wow. They're way softer than they are. Oh, you're fine. No, no, stay with Sarah for a minute. Stay with Sarah for a minute. Okay. Stay with Sarah for a minute. Are you mama? Wow. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm mama, but and he's got my son, Dan, as his And the camouflage is very giver. interesting, too, oh right? That gosh. comes from their mom. Um, Did you see how so he wraps around the tree them? Yeah. So they'll never get that because they're in captivity. Okay. But in the wild. She wants to go back to Of course. She's rejecting No, of course. Oh, don't let her bite. Don't let her bite. Don't let her bite. They're mouthy. Yeah. Babies oh, are mouthy. mouthy. We'll give them back to you. Okay. I don't want to scare them. They're so cute. You okay. guys, to learn more about International Sloth Day or... I was rejected. I got them. You were? Oh, I got them. I got them. Or any animal. You guys have more than just sloths here. You can head over to the Incredible Bats or Animal Quest website. It's on your screen there. Make sure to follow them on your socials, too, for fun animal photos and facts. Ladies, thank Love you that. so much. And thank you to Rico and Stella. Indeed. Thank you.